Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the geometric transformation called a rotation. And rotation just means turning an object around a fixed point. So let's take a look at this example number one in your notes. We've got this triangle ABC and we want to rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So the origin, this is our fixed point, and we want to rotate this triangle around the origin. And we want to go 90 degrees clockwise. So clockwise is this direction, and 90 degrees is about, it's like a quarter turn. So some of you might be able to do this just kind of by looking at it and, and you know, kind of in your mind, just imagine, you know, rotating this triangle 90 degrees. But I'm going to use this piece of transparency with a set of X, Y axes drawn on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my transparency on top of my graph here. I'm going to line up my X and Y axes. And I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to put point A, point B, and point C on my transparency. And then I'm going to connect up my points here, A, B, and C, so I can draw my triangle. I'm essentially just drawing my triangle on top of my transparency. And now what I want to do is I want to take this triangle now. I've drawn my triangle here on my transparency. And since I want to rotate this triangle about the origin, I'm going to kind of imagine that I've got a, uh, a thumbtack or a pin or something that's kind of like going through the origin right here. And I just want to turn, I want to rotate my triangle one quarter turn, 90 degrees, in the clockwise direction. And then when I'm done, I, gotta, I want to make sure my you know, axes are lined up again. Here I've got a rotated triangle. I've taken my original triangle and I've rotated it 90 degrees clockwise. Well, I want to draw this rotated triangle on my paper here. So kind of hold my, hold my transparency down with one hand and my new point A, my rotated point A, is going to be right here. So kind of peel up my transparency and that's my new point A. I'm going to call that A prime because that's my rotated point A. My point B is going to be right here. So there's B prime. And then my point C is going to be right down here. And so here's point C prime. And now I take my transparency off and then I connect up my points here, my three vertex points for my triangle. And there's my rotated triangle, A prime, B prime, and C prime. So I've rotated it clockwise about the origin. Now I would like to see if I can come up with the algebraic rule for this particular transformation, rotating something 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. The way I'm going to do that, I want to take a look at each one of my three points, A, B, and C. And then I'm going to look at my three, uh, the coordinates of my transformed points, my rotated points, and see if I can figure out what the pattern is and see if I can come up with what the arrow rule is going to be. So point A, Let's see, my point A is at negative 1, 1. And it gets transformed into A prime, which is at, let's see, 1, 1. And let's see, point B. My point B is at 2, comma 4. And B prime, let's see, my coordinates of B prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, negative two. So B prime is four comma negative two. And C, which is at four comma one, that gets rotated over to C prime, which is, let's see, C prime one, negative four, one, negative four. All right, and what I would like to do is I'd like to see if I can tell if there's some kind of a pattern here to the way the coordinates are changing so that I could write a general algebraic rule. In other words, what's going to be the rule 
if I've got any set of coordinates here, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, what do I have to do to them in order to rotate 90 degrees clockwise? So let's see. Well, I noticed that all of my original y-coordinates, 1, 4, 1, they become my new x-coordinates, 1, 4, 1. So my new x-coordinate over here is just going to be my original y-coordinates. And then my new y-coordinates, 1, negative 2, negative 4, I notice that they are the same numbers as my original x-coordinates, except they've all been multiplied by negative 1. So it looks like my new y-coordinates, which is going to go here, is my original x-coordinate multiplied by negative 1. So here is my algebraic rule for rotating something 90 degrees clockwise around the origin.